All the split stuff we know is good to go. 16%, just like the other one. 16%, 16%, 14%, okay. 14%, 16%, 21%. Today on In the Woodyard, we're gonna do some moisture testing. Look at that, I'm pretty moist. Here we go. So yesterday, Adam and Bert and I went and took Lugger Al a bunch of wood. You guys saw that video, that you should have. And then we went to his dad's place, Carl, and we picked up a bunch of wood. Now when we were loading it, we noticed a lot of it was not split. And he cut it last spring, so it's eight, nine months old. He said a lot of it was dead standing stuff when he cut it, but a lot of it had bark on yet. So I think a lot of this is gonna need to be resplit at least in half so that it opens up so that it dries. Now, I have the load of locusts on in my trailer. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump that out and then I'm gonna go get the other trailer that's over there and that's got all the oak in it. And I'm gonna split some of the rounds down that weren't split that are were still, you know, you know, six, eight inches. And they looked pretty wet and felt pretty wet, but it's still good wood, it's all cut, got it at a decent price, but I think I have to do some resplits on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this load out, dump the other load out, and then we're gonna test it. And then we're gonna come over here and I am going to test some of this wood. Actually, let's do that right now. I'm right here, I got the moisture test, moisture meter tester. So we're gonna test some of this. Now, it rained all day yesterday. Look at here, Mr. Kitty, there he goes. So. A lot of this is wet on the ends, so I know if I test it like this one here where it's wet on the ends, it's gonna just spike because it's soaking wet. So I know that's not a true measurement. Now, the stuff that's back on the inside here, I will be able to test. And right there, it looks like it's about 21%. I'll test it in another spot. Now, this stuff was just cut not long ago, 21%. So that's close to being ready as it is. Here's another one underneath here that looks like it's pretty dry. Yeah, around 20%, so not too bad. That's probably gonna be ready to go. Uh, let's find a couple other ones down this way here. Here's one that's an end cut. It's pretty dry. Well, that says 24%, so that one's not dry. Test this one down here. That says 22%, so it's close. I'm just trying to find ones that are dry because if they're all wet on the end from rain, it, they're not gonna be good. Um, yeah, these are mostly, let's go around to the other side. Maybe they're not as wet on the other side here. These are a whole nother, oh, another cat, a um, whole nother pile of logs here because I've got two of them. And then I also have that new load that came over here of the mixed hardwood. But there's some oak in here. Yeah, this stuff is kind of set back in here. So let's check this one out here. See, and that's pretty good. That's 17%. And a lot of that's going to be like that. And you can tell, like this one here probably is pretty good too. Yeah, 18%. Uh, let's see here. Trying to find some that are dry that are set back in here is a small one here. That's 20%, so it's close. This one here, let's check this one. 19%, so that one's probably ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is as I sort these out to process, I'll probably pull the little ones out that I think are good and then we'll, we'll check them to be sure because I should be able to sell, cut this, split it, and this stuff will be ready to go at 17%, so that's a good one. Check this one up here, 14%, 19%, so that one looks pretty good. Um, let's see, here's one down here. So those of you that aren't familiar with moisture meters, you can get them from pretty much anywhere. Um, hardware stores will have them. Uh, saw shops will have them. You can buy them on Amazon. This one is an SBI. This is the one I like the most. It seems to be the most accurate and I just like the way it works. I've got some cheaper ones that were 20 bucks, 25 bucks. This one was about 50 bucks. You can spend hundreds of dollars on them. I don't think it's necessary, they all work. The ones that are super expensive, in general, are more for people that do um, cabinet work and woodwork, and they want it to be exact and yeah, 23%, and they want to test different species. I just want a general idea, 20%, so that one's pretty good. I'm trying to get the ones underneath, that one's 18%, so that's pretty good. Cat's following me around, must think there's a mouse in here with all the squeaking going on. And there's one down here, looks like it's pretty dry. Yeah, 18%. So, as you can see, a lot of this stuff is ready to go, and uh, I will be able to separate out the small stuff and then cut and split it on the processor and then put that in a separate pile or put it right into a bin so it's ready to be sold. And I'll check it as we go. And a lot of the bigger stuff, obviously, is going to have to dry well because I think a lot of that big stuff, see if I can find a big one in here that's dry on the end or if I can find a dry spot. Here's one way inside of here. 
And that's his 18%. I'm trying to find a big one in here that's set back. Uh, here's one right here that's that's 19%, that's not too bad. And the reason I think this is pretty accurate, this was all dead standing wood that um, they cut over the last couple months and then brought here. So this wood has been in the woods. There's no bark on it, standing dead. Roots are probably all rotted away and uh, excellent wood for fire. And a lot of people would just process this as it is and then sell it as being dry wood, just the whole thing. But I know there's a lot of stuff in here that is not dry. There's bigger stuff. Stuff like this right here, I can see this one right here probably is not dry. And I can't really test them because they're all wet on the ends from rain. Because if I test it where the rain is hit, you can see it just spikes. I know it's not accurate. But it it might be, you know, in the 20s. But where it's wet, it just, it just spikes it. So anyway, we're going to dump some wood right now. We're going to make a big steaming dump right over here on the uh, concrete. Cement, whatever you want to call it. So there's the locust and there's the oak and that is mixed hardwood that I dumped there before for a customer that wasn't ready for wood. And this is the stuff I got from my dad that is uh, like seven years old, six years old, something like that. And then there's a few chunks of cherry back here that were from like uh, about a year ago and I got this from Al's dad Carl also. So I'm going to take a piece of this cherry because I know the cherry is dry. Well I've been, I sold most of it, there's only a few chunks left. We're gonna split a piece of that and check the inside of it. We're gonna take a chunk of this wood that I got from my dad, because I know this on the inside is gonna be dry. We'll test that. And then we'll compare it to a piece of this locust that's been split, and then one that's not been split. And then we'll also compare it to some of this oak. We'll take a chunk of this that's been split and a chunk that's not been split in a round. So we'll compare them all and see what we get. So I've got the trusty X27 right here the Fiskars, and we're gonna bring them over here. I'm gonna split it over on this uh, softer ground here because I don't like pounding my uh, ax head into the cement so much. So here's what I've got. This is a piece of locust that's been split into a quarter. This is a piece of locust that's been split into a half. This is a piece of locust that is whole yet, but it's got some deep cracks. And then I picked out a small one here just to compare between the two. And then this is a piece of cherry. So this is all from Carl's place. This is a piece of white oak that I got from my dad that is, like I say, five or six years old. Another piece I got from my dad. So we're gonna split both of these and test the middle of these. So this one's never been split and it's got bark on it. But I think being in the pile, like my dad had it, I think it's gonna be nice and dry. It should be after that long. So this piece of red oak right here came from Carl and it's got three sides exposed, one side with bark. And then this is a piece of white oak that's got its bark on yet, yeah, never been split, but it's got a nice deep crack. So we're gonna do some whacking, cracking and splitting and testing right now. Okay, so a lot of you know that I'm a Fiskars fanboy. Uh, some people don't like Fiskars because it's plastic and they're afraid of plastic. They want wood because they are afraid to change, but I have used every kind of splitting mall there is. Wood ones, plastic ones, metal ones. This is the first one I grab every single time. My brother says the same thing. It's lighter, you can swing it longer. It's got 
uh, coating on it. It's supposed to be like Teflon. It slides through the wood really good. This is what I pick every single time. And I've never broke one. Some guys say they break them off. Well, they do have a lifetime guarantee. You break it, take a picture, you send it in, they send you a new one. They're about 60 bucks. Anyway, I think they're awesome. Okay, so we're going to start over here on this locust and wood's going to be flying. So I'll see if I can get it to fly the wrong right direction. Okay, so we split this locust open. And uh, I'm going to test these each one at a time as we do it because that way you can see that it was just fresh split. Do them one at a time here. So here we go. This is a locust. We're going to test it into the middle. Survey says it's dry. Look at that. 16%. So the locust split is good. Okay, so we're going to put that off to the side over here. Now I am going to split this one right here. This is the one that uh, was split into a half, so this should be dry too. Trying not to go right down to the ground here. Oh, come on. There we go. It sounded dry. It had that crunchy sound. Let's check this locust out. Survey says 16%, just like the other one. Very good. So that's dry, all right. So all the split stuff we know is good to go. Now let's test the ones that weren't split. First, we're gonna start with this little guy here. I'm gonna test this little one right here. See if I can get it where it's gonna stay. There we go, I'll throw the little one over there. Survey says 16%. So that one's good, okay. Let's test this bigger one here, this bigger chunk. So maybe the locust, even though it hasn't been split, is all good to go, just like Carl said. He thought it was gonna be dry, so we'll find out. This is the real test, because this one's never been split and it's got bark on it. Okay, let's see what she says. It's kind of green yet on the inside, which means usually it means it's wet. Survey says, look at that. 16%, we're good to go. All right, so the locusts, good. Okay, let's check this piece of uh, cherry out here. I'm pretty sure this will be dry because I've sold a lot of this already. The cherry seemed to me to be pretty dry. I think I tested it once before when I first got it. Yeah, it looks dry. So again, on the inside, it is. Ah, pushing as hard as I can. Hit 14 there once I saw. 14%, okay. Oh, I should mention this too. For those of you that have never used a uh, moisture meter before, the way it works is there's these two prongs. You stick them into the, the wood and there's a D, not a D, a nine volt battery in there. And it tests the resistance between those two um, prongs. And as you can see, I'm moist. Um, so what it's doing is it's, the more water there is, the easier the uh, electricity flows, the higher number you get. The drier it is, the lower the number, the harder it is for the resistance to flow back and forth. And that's how they work. They're pretty basic, really. And you can set them for different kinds of wood, different uh, species, different. Uh, you can set it for firewood or lumber or hull, whatever you want to do. But there it is. Okay, let's test my dad's oak. First, we're going to split this one right here. This is the chunk of red oak. So, getting the axe head full of mud. Ooh, that sounded good. That had a good sound to it. So here you can see the gray side, the outside, and that's the inside. Feels dry. You can just tell it generally, you can feel it's dry. 14%, almost, almost 15. Almost 15, so there you go. That oak is dry. Now, let's test this chunk of oak, this white oak here that's never been split from my dad. It's got a knot on it, so this one might split hard. Or not, yeah, it looks dry. You can just tell by looking. White oak and red oak, they're lighter on the inside than when they dry than when they are when they're wet, and I can just tell I've seen enough of it, so. 16%, there you go. So that one is dry. All right, now, these are the ones I'm worried about here. Oops, there goes the meter. So this is the chunk of red oak from Carl that's got split here. We'll test this one. Oh, that sounded good actually, it had a nice crack to it. it feels wet, 
it feels wet. I can just see it. It's darker. It should be light like this on the inside, but it's a little darker. If you guys can see the difference, I can see it. But let's test it here. Look at that. 21%. So in a couple months, it'll probably be good. It's not terrible. I've seen way worse than that. I'm gonna test the other half just because it's over here. Let's test the other, other chunk of it. Yeah, 21% we're getting, so there you go. So the split stuff's not terrible. It would burn. Um, so let's do the last one. This is the one that I'm most worried about. This one I got a feeling is gonna need to be, all these rounds from Carl I think are gonna need to be split and they're gonna need to sit till next spring or next summer sometime. So here we go. Well, it sounded okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, it feels a little moist. Let's find out. And it says, not too shabby actually, 21%. There you go. All right, we did some testing with the meter. So there it is, we did the moisture test and it looks like the wood is pretty much ready to go. I mean, it's close. I would have no problem selling it, but I'll probably sit on it a little while just to make sure it dries a little bit more. We'll probably get a lot of that stuff uh, split down just a little smaller, probably go in there with my splitter and just split some of the, the rounds down a little bit more that aren't split. They'll dry a little bit better and uh, probably, you know, in another month or two, we'll be able to sell all that wood. So it's a good test. Now, uh, Got to go do some other work. That's it for today, folks. See you tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. Right now, you're going to go watch some of my other videos. There's 1,200 waiting for you. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.